What's up guys, Mama here, and today we're checking out something crazy cool, bio-inspired technology. We're talking about tech that's literally copying nature's homework and acing the test. From trains that zoom like birds to buildings that breathe like termites, we're about to see how Mother Nature's been low-key engineering the future all along. So, uh, let's get into it. All right, let's kick things off with something that's straight up dope. Trains inspired by Kingfisher beaks. Yeah, you heard that right. So, um, there's this bullet train in Japan, the 500 series Shinkansen. The engineers were having a problem. Every time the train entered a tunnel, it created this massive sonic boom. Enter the Kingfisher. These birds dive into water at high speeds without barely making a splash. The secret? Their beaks. The engineers redesigned the train's nose to mimic the Kingfisher's beak, and boom, problem solved. The new design not only reduced the sonic boom, but also made the train 10% faster and 15% more energy efficient. That's nature's engineering at its finest, folks. Next up, we've got something that's going to make you look at bees differently. You know how bees keep their hives at a constant temperature? Well, some smart folks thought, hey, why can't buildings do that? And just like that, bio-inspired building management systems were born. These systems use algorithms based on how bees communicate to control things like heating, cooling, and ventilation. The result? Buildings that are up to 20% more energy efficient. One example is the Delta Electronics headquarters in Taiwan. Their system uses sensors and actuators that act like bees, constantly adjusting the building's environment. It's like, uh, having a hive mind running your office, but way less scary and way more eco-friendly. Now, let's talk about something that's taking the whole reduce, reuse, recycle thing to a whole new level. The Kalandborg Eco Industrial Park in Denmark is like this massive ecosystem of industries. But instead of competing, these companies are sharing resources like it's a big industrial potluck. Here's how it works. One company's waste becomes another company's raw material. For example, a power plant's excess steam is used by a pharmaceutical company and an enzyme manufacturer. The gypsum from the power plant's desulfurization process? That goes to a wallboard producer. It's crazy efficient. This symbiosis has reduced CO2 emissions by 635,000 tons annually and saved 3 million cubic meters of water through recycling and reuse. It's like nature's circle of life, but for factories. This is just the beginning of how we can learn from nature to create more sustainable and efficient technologies. All right, check this out. There's a building in Zimbabwe that doesn't need air conditioning, even when it's scorching hot outside. How? It's copying termites. I know, termites don't sound cool, but trust me, this is insane. The Eastgate Center in Harare uses a passive cooling system inspired by termite mounds. These mounds stay at a constant temperature even when it's boiling outside. The building mimics this with a system of chimneys, fans and open floors that create a constant airflow. The result? It uses 90% less energy for ventilation than a conventional building of the same size. And get this, they saved $3.5 million on air conditioning equipment alone. That's some serious termite tech, folks. Now we're going to go small, like really small. We're talking about synthetic biology, which is basically reprogramming cells to do our bidding. It sounds like sci-fi, but it's happening right now and it's changing the game for manufacturing. Companies like Zymergen are using engineered microbes to produce materials that are typically made from petroleum. We're talking about things like phone cases, car parts, and even clothing. These bio-based products can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 50% compared to their petroleum-based counterparts. It's like having tiny, eco-friendly factories working 24 7 to make our stuff. The future of manufacturing might just be microscopic. Okay, this next one is straight out of a sci-fi movie, but it's real. We're talking about swarm robotics. Basically, a bunch of small, simple robots working together like a swarm of bees or a colony of ants. And it's not just a cool concept, it's being put to work right now. Take the Hive Mind project by Hive Mapper. 
They're using swarm intelligence to create super detailed 3D maps for construction and urban planning. These robot swarms can survey and map areas way faster and more accurately than traditional methods. We're talking about improvements in efficiency of up to 57%. It's like having a tiny army of surveyors that never gets tired and works in perfect sync. It's like having a tiny army of surveyors that never gets tired and works in perfect sync. Now, let's talk about something that's literally changing the game in medicine. Hybrid biomaterials. These are materials that combine synthetic stuff with biological components, and they're doing some crazy things in wound healing and tissue regeneration. One example is this hydrogel developed by researchers at Harvard. It's inspired by the way our own bodies heal wounds. This gel can stretch up to 21 times its original length and stick to surfaces even when they're wet, like inside your body. In tests, it closed wounds 12 times faster than untreated wounds. Imagine a band-aid that doesn't just cover a cut, but actively helps it heal faster. That's the kind of next level stuff we're looking at here. That's the kind of next level stuff we're looking at here. All right, let's get into some real sci-fi territory, metamaterials. These are materials engineered to have properties that don't exist in nature. But ironically, they're often inspired by natural structures. Take this metamaterial inspired by the structure of butterfly wings. Researchers at the University of Pennsylvania created a material that can change color on demand, just like some butterflies do. But here's the kicker. It's not using pigments or dyes. It's all about the structure of the material itself. This tech could lead to things like adaptive camouflage or even color-changing buildings that regulate temperature. We're talking about a 30% reduction in energy costs for buildings using this tech. It's like nature's magic tricks, but we figured out how to do them ourselves. These metamaterials are pushing the boundaries of what's possible, blending nature's wisdom with cutting-edge technology. Now, this next one might sound a bit vampire-ish, but stick with me. Scientists have developed a new catalyst technology inspired by, wait for it, blood. This tech, developed by researchers at the University of Cambridge, uses organic molecules instead of rare and expensive metals like platinum for catalysts. The blood inspiration comes from the way hemoglobin carries oxygen in our blood. The result? Catalysts that are up to 100 times more effective than traditional metal-based ones and way cheaper to produce. These catalysts are crucial for things like fuel cells and energy storage. It's like giving batteries a blood transfusion of efficiency. This could revolutionize our energy storage capabilities. Let's talk about something that's not exactly glamorous, but super important, wastewater treatment. And believe it or not, there's some pretty cool tech happening here too, all thanks to some hardworking bacteria. Scientists have developed a wastewater treatment system inspired by electrogenic bacteria. These are microbes that can produce electricity. This system, called microbial fuel cells, not only cleans water, but also generates electricity in the process. We're talking about a 20% reduction in energy consumption compared to traditional treatment plants, plus the bonus of producing clean energy. It's like having a tiny power plant in your sewage system. Gross, but awesome. This technology could transform how we handle wastewater, turning a necessary process into an energy positive one. All right, let's stick to something cool, bioadhesives. Nature's got some seriously sticky stuff and scientists are taking notes. One example is this underwater adhesive inspired by mussels. Researchers at MIT developed a glue that works even in wet conditions and is strong enough to stick to Teflon. We're talking about an adhesive that's 10 times stronger than commercial superglue when used underwater. This could be a game changer for things like surgical glues or underwater construction. It's like having Spider-Man's web shooters, but for glue. The potential applications are incredibly diverse. From metamaterials to bioadhesives, nature continues to inspire groundbreaking technologies. The future is looking sticky, efficient, and incredibly innovative. Now, let's talk about something that's got a real nose for innovation, bio-inspired sensors. Scientists are looking at how insects smell to create super-sensitive detectors for everything from diseases to explosives. 
Take this electronic nose developed by researchers at the University of Manchester. It's inspired by how fruit flies smell, and it can detect odors with way more sensitivity than our noses. We're talking about being able to sniff out diseases like cancer or Parkinson's before any other symptoms show up. These sensors can be up to 200 times more sensitive than traditional electronic noses. It's like giving machines a superpower sense of smell. Let's wrap things up with something that's really taking off. Bio-inspired drones. Engineers are looking at birds and insects to create drones that are more agile, efficient, and quieter than ever before. Check out this drone inspired by a Swift, developed by researchers at EPFL in Switzerland. It can change the shape of its wings mid-flight, just like the bird. This allows it to be super maneuverable and energy efficient. And then there's this tiny drone inspired by insects, weighing just 259 milligrams. It can flap its wings 500 times per second and hover like a pro. We're talking about a 30% increase in flight efficiency compared to traditional fixed-wing drones. These bio-inspired designs are pushing the boundaries of what drones can do. And there you have it, folks. A whirlwind tour of some of the coolest bio-inspired tech out there. From buildings that breathe like termites to drones that fly like birds, we're seeing nature's designs revolutionize pretty much every field of technology. It's like we're finally realizing that nature's been running this 3.8 billion year R&D program, and we're just starting to tap into that knowledge. The future of tech, it might just be hidden in the world around us. So, what do you think? Which of these bio-inspired technologies blew your mind the most? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're as excited about this stuff as I am, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated on all the latest in tech. This is Muama signing off. And remember, the next time you see a bug or a plant, you might just be looking at the future of technology. Peace.